new, stricter standards are being imposed on doctors because of what's described here as an opioid epidemic. The state's own numbers, however, show opioid prescriptions and overdoses have declined every year since 2011, except in one category, heroin deaths. Drill down into the actual case files as reported by the Clark County Coroner, and it's even more apparent nearly all of the deaths involve multiple substances, including heroin, methadone, methamphetamine, cocaine, and alcohol. And many of the dead also had serious underlying medical conditions, but anyone who has a trace of an opioid in their systems is counted as an opioid death. A study came out just this year um, looking at the toxicology of people who died of you know, supposed prescription opioid deaths. The average number of substances found in the system, including alcohol, amphetamines, cocaine, um, tranquilizers, uh, generally benzodiazepines, was six. We're not talking about 16,000 prescription opioid deaths. We're talking more about 1,600. For the chronic pain patients, it's really, really scary times right now. Very scary. Retired pharmacist Rick Martin is in pain most of the time, but he still writes letters and lobbies on behalf of fellow pain patients, though it's fallen on deaf ears. The CDC's supposedly voluntary guidelines have been enacted into law almost everywhere, forcing drastic cuts in opioid prescriptions for millions of patients. People are dying, people are committing suicide right now because their doctor involuntarily tapered them downward or off their opioid medications and the CDC, nowhere did they recommend that. I've been seeing where, like I said, patients with cancer were, and were going to die eventually were in the hospital to where they would not get pain medication because the nurse or the doctor were afraid they'd become addicted. The impetus started about 15 years ago when doctors, pharmacy chains, and drug companies unleashed a new generation of pain medications. Pill mills flourished, patients died, but the pill mills have since been shut down. All the records show is that the prescribing hit its peak in 2010 and the, the number of opioids and the amount of opioids being prescribed has been in decline ever since then. Pat Anson of the Pain News Network thinks the CDC knew exactly what would happen when it issued supposedly voluntary guidelines. CDC drafted those guidelines in secrecy. They knew right away and they did it illegally too. They did it without holding public hearings like they were supposed to. In March 2016, the CDC issued what it called voluntary guidelines, suggestions for general practitioners about how to rein in opioid prescriptions, including a proposed cap on daily dosages called a morphine equivalent standard. The notion of mor morphine equivalent daily dosing is just absurd. Pain expert Dr. Michael Shatman says there is no science whatsoever behind a morphine equivalent standard and that it is preposterous to declare that when it comes to pain medication, one size fits all. In a scathing paper recently published, Shatman and his co-author pummeled CDC for creating guidelines in total secrecy. The identities of the expert committee were not revealed, even when six members of Congress wrote to ask what was going on. When the names finally leaked, they were widely regarded as anti-opioid crusaders. CDC used exaggerated data to justify its guidelines, Chapman said, and his paper noted CDC had never even mentioned chronic pain on its website prior to issuing the guidelines. Worst of all, the guidelines were adopted as law by states all over the U.S. The doctors and the medical community has been scammed by Big Pharma led by CVS Health and their greedy stockholders. This fake opioid crisis is a well-planned attack on community health care doctors and it was designed to turn over the community clinics to CVS and other pharmacies who are opening retail clinics. Please boycott CVS Pharmacy and support our mission by clicking on the links in the description box below. You can also visit our website to learn more about how Big Pharma and CVS Health screwed thousands of doctors and millions of patients. Please share this video with everybody you know because the lamestream media will not report these facts to the public.